Hey, it's Amy, Tennessee Attachment. Today, we're just gonna go over some of your hemmers, and I'm gonna talk to you about some of the differences that you can get in the hemmers. Um, the first thing that I wanna show the difference in is a raw edge and a clean finish. So a raw edge is when you put your material in, and it goes up or down just one time. So this edge is gonna be raw, but it's gonna have a finished edge over here. The clean finish, there's a couple clean finishes right here. It's gonna go in, so it's gonna turn up the once, and then it's also gonna turn again for a clean edge. So it turns once and then it turns again, and that's a clean finish hammer. So when it comes out, it'll be to your specified size and a clean edge on both sides, and this is an upturn. We recommend doing an upturn hammer on uh, lock stitches. That way the operator can see what they're doing. So I have one set up here. On a lot of these machines, the DDL series, the 206, the 1541, any of the ones that have the two holes here by the throat plate, you can take these style hammers. We do it for any machine pretty much, but these are the popular ones and I'm gonna go over some more. Um, but I just wanted to show you first the clean finish and the raw edge. We also do, those were upturns, we also do downturn. This is just set up for a different machine. So your material will go in, let me use a flat side. So it's gonna go in, it's gonna turn it under. See, it's gonna turn it under. Just one time, this is a raw edge downturn. So see, your operator can't see it, but on a chain stitch machine, you may need to do that. So there's a raw edge. And then here's a clean finish, right here. So it's gonna turn it once. And then again, you can see right here on the end, you can see that right here, it's gonna turn once and then it's gonna come back up so that both of these are clean edges. Now this is just for looks, obviously, but so you can see the difference. So you have upturn, downturn, clean finish, raw edge. And this is how it mounts on this machine. Now some of the other specialty things that we can do, uh, cause we can make modifications to any of these. This one has an insert for like webbing or anything like that. So you can do clean finish, raw edge, whichever you want. We can set it up for any machine. Put your insert in there. We can do them on swings. Some of them have tongues so that uh, it helps hold your finish. This one has a cord insert. It's a clean finish. Clean finish, it's gonna tuck it under and it's got a cord insert. And then when you get to some bigger sizes, we can still do it, but on a, a machine like this one, when you get big, you're gonna have to get your stitch margin over far enough so your holes get covered up. So then we add this adapter bracket. Usually when you tell us the size of what you need, we'll tell you what you need. So when you, when you want something, it's best to call us in. We can always guide you, recommend you on what, on what you need. And some of the other stuff that we have here that I'm gonna go over, let's go over to this other machine. So we offer the different finishes of steel like we do on most attachments. So we offer Teflon coated for some of the stickier type material that you need or really stiff. It just kind of helps it go in a little smoother. And we also have this crinkle metal material and it helps as well. And then we'll go back to this one. Sometimes you're sewing things in the round, you know, in the round shape, you can flip up. That way you can get out of the round and flip back down. We use a lot of these uh, heavier swings like this for two needle lock stitches or you know it just depends on the machine but it's a heavier swing see they don't have the two holes here these it has the bob you know the slide plates there so these are designed to work they have usually one lip and usually you just need you just need one screw so even if you were way over here you only had one that's okay you just need the one in the lip and it's going to hold it in its place and this one you know this probably isn't wide enough for this one this gauge but it might be but this is just an example and you'll just screw this down and tighten it in now we don't usually always supply these screws. We can try to, but they change a lot between machine to machine and it's just hard to be it for us to be able to keep up. But we will do our best and you just let us know. And uh, another option that we can do, a lot of times people are doing a raw edge upturn and they want some Velcro on top. So we can either take a uh, tube guide and put it on a switch up that'll mount right here in these two holes or if you don't want that, if you don't want it to really be adjustable, you know, not up here, we can take a tube guide like this and mount it directly here, or we can put it on a rod mount so you can still adjust that left to right. And uh, we can do all kinds of stuff like that 
you just call us or email us and let us know what you need and we'll uh, be able to get you set up. Thanks.